Aubrey Palmer was a physicist who discovered a fragment of a white dwarf star. He crafted the lens from this fragment, allowing him to shrink objects. However, controlling the size change in living matter proved challenging. In a desperate situation, Palmer used the lens on himself to save others trapped in a cave, finding he could shrink to a tiny size while retaining his full strength. This discovery led him to become the Atom. He could also manipulate his weight, enabling him to leap great distances and glide through the air. The power of the Dwarf Star Fragment was incorporated into his costume spell. During the Silver Age, the Atom starred in his own comic series, which often featured the blend of science fiction and detective elements, reflecting Palmer's scientific background. He fought a variety of villains, including the time-manipulating thief, Kronos. In addition to his solo adventures, the Atom was a founding member of the Justice League of America, making his first appearance with the team in The Brave and the Bold No. 20 in 1960, just before his solo series began. As a JLA member, he fought alongside iconic heroes like Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, and The Flash. The Atom's popularity during the Silver Age solidified his status in the DC Comics universe. His unique powers and scientific expertise set him apart from other heroes of the era. The blend of superhero action, science fiction, and detective work in his stories made them distinctive and memorable. Ray Palmer's adventures as The Atom laid the foundation for future iterations and adaptations, ensuring his enduring legacy in the broader DC universe. Hey yo everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're diving deep into one of the founding members of the Justice League of America, The Atom. This is part of the second wave of McFarlane Toys Digital under DC Direct. Let's start with the packaging. The front of the box prominently displays McFarlane Toys Digital, The Atom, and the DC Direct logo. There's a large clear window showing up the figure and its accessories. On the right side, you'll see McFarlane Toys Digital, The Atom, DC, The Silver Age. So I guess this is McFarlane's version of The Silver Age Atom. The left side continues the window display and also says, McFarlane Toys Digital, and some instructions and QR code promoting the McFarlane Toys Digital line. Finally, the back of the box features artwork from the comics, which I'm not really sure if it's from the Silver Age. That's it for the packaging. Now, let's crack this open and see if McFarlane did justice to this version of the Atom in action figure form. The figure stands at 7 inches or 18 centimeters. He comes with the standard McFarlane art card with the short biography at the back. McFarlane Toys Digital Redemption card. Standard McFarlane Toys Digital Stand. Two alternate hands. And a miniature version of the Atom. It has no articulation though, but as far as the sculpt, it is pretty good. Yeah, it is a well-sculpted and painted uh, mini statue of the Atom. Now, this is an obvious reuse of the Blue Beetle body mold 
which to be honest i don't have any problem because for a male body mold this is actually the perfect mold for reuse because it doesn't have any sculpted details that will identify it for specifically for blue beetle i think the only sculpted detail that it has is this one that is on his boots which compared to the well i'm sorry if you've seen my previous review of the the fire action figure i really i, I was really disappointed with that figure because they use the it's another reuse of the catwoman specifically nightfall catwoman uh body mold they they the figure just seemed force. It, it did not work. It doesn't even look like fire. Because unlike this male body mold of Blue Beetle, it is actually basically a blank canvas. As I said, the only sculpted detail is this one. Unlike that Nightfall Catwoman, wherein obviously it has a lot of sculpted details to identify it as a cat suit. So, yeah. McPerline, Trash crush that mold and create a new female body mold just like the blue beetle one which is like a black canvas which at least you can reuse and will work for example this one i can obviously say that this is the atom because yeah it doesn't have any identifying mark that it is blue beetle it is a plain body mold so you can just paint over it to make it look like the character so yeah again perlin please create a new female body mold that works just like this blue beetle body mold looking at the head sculpt again mcperlin has really improved a lot when it comes to the head sculpt of their action figure this really looks like a perfect head sculpt for the atom and there's his logo on the forehead and i mean just look at the eyes mold is perfect and the paint job on this figure is perfect then obviously it is a repaint on the torso and hands and the legs to make it look like the atom costume which again as i said it works because this is basically a black canvas the belt i don't know i, th I think there's just a little something missing on the belt because it looks a little cartoony but i guess because they're thinking that this is the silver age it would work so yeah but i know uh, i think they should have at least added some, you know, specific edges on the square and this one so that it will really look, in a way, look like a separate item. Because like this, it really looks like it is just really painted over it, you know. They should have at least added like black edges to it to make it look like a separate item in a way. Overall, as far as the mold and repaint is concerned, this is a good retool of the Blue Beetle body mold to become the Atom. So yeah, this will be my classic Atom in my shell. As for the articulation, since this is the Blue Beetle body mold, I don't think there are any surprises here. So for the head, you can look down that far. You can look up that far side to side so that's the other articulation so yes uh abdomen abdomen cut which in this mold of the blue beetle actually works now combining it with the waist rotation the abdominal articulation of this mold it's actually pretty good. For the leg, 
Thai Swivel actually works pretty well in this mold. Double jointed knee. Toe articulation. You can kick that far. You can kick back that far. So you can do the split in a way. And then you can also do the bend them in a way. Okay, this is the part of McFarlane's point of articulation that I think they really need to improve this one because it's just too gappy. They need to retool this so that you know that gap will not will will, will be prevented. So you can do the T pose. You can do that and then bicep cut rotation. Double jointed elbow and then double peg rest. So that's it for the articulation of this figure. This is another good reuse of the Blue Beetle body mold. It works. For me, this is the Atom. So if you are a fan of the character, I think this is definitely a must buy since. He is also an essential member of the Justice League. So this is another character down in completing your Justice League of America team. I know uh, that on my review of the McParlane Digital Toys Green Lantern, I was a little harsh for them reusing this mold. But sorry about that, guys. I, I'm really just a really huge fan of Al Jordan Green Lantern, so I was really kind of hoping that we will have a real classic Al Jordan that, you know, has his own specific mold. But yeah, through time, I must admit, I learned to love that Green Lantern figure in this McParlane Toys digital line. Anyway, guys, if you've reached this part of my video, thanks a lot for the support. And if you like my video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And again, guys, enjoy life and keep collecting.